this stuff. It's like being in tripod heaven. Where was all this when I started my career 30 years ago? It would have saved me a lot of trouble, I'll tell you that. You know, in the 30 years that I've been doing this stuff, and we're talking network news and documentaries, feature films, episodic TV, reality TV, I've had the opportunity to use a really wide range of equipment. Some of it really, really good. Some of it not so much. Uh, and I've kind of been a crash test dummy for a lot of companies who will send me things and say, hey, take this out and try it and see what you think. Or they'll send me a prototype. I've done this with cameras and lights and grip and what have you. And I think in all these years, I've made just about every mistake somebody can make. And I've learned a lot. So allow me to share with you some of that experience so that uh, you don't have to go out and do all the kind of research that I have had to do through 30-something years, almost 40 years now of, uh, of doing this. Tripods, sliders, jibs, you know, all that kind of support equipment. It's super important to have the right thing for the job that you need, whatever it is. And just like there's no one tool that's perfect for everything, you know, if you have a pair of pliers, a pair of pliers isn't going to do every single thing you need to fix a car. You need different tools for different purposes. And it's the same way for things that we do in this business, whether it's a documentary or something that's, you know, scripted or whatever. Having the right tool for what you're doing is super important. And everything that you use, every tool that you use, has to be in the service of the story. It's about visual storytelling. So you need as good a gear as you can get. You don't want to get some inferior tripod that when you pan it jerks or tilts and doesn't do very well or a jib that's crummy. Um, unless you want that look. I mean, personally, I would rather not be confined by inferior equipment. Of course, the trick is, you know, well, I can't buy everything, and I can't spend all this crazy amount of money on all this super high-end gear. Well, technology has come so far now, not just in cameras. There is really very cost-effective equipment with super high-end features on it. And I have discovered some of those, and it's from Benro. And their line of tripods and sliders and jibs and stuff, um, they're, they're amazingly priced. And I know I tend to sound almost like a salesman when I say that, and I'm not. But I just really like their gear. I really do. These are their line of tripods for heavier cameras. We're talking 13 pounds to 22 pounds. And they have a lot of these different, different ones. And these are some of the configurations of them. When you're looking at these at your dealer or if you're on a website or something like that, you'll see all this nomenclature, you know, BV6, S7, BV10. And it's, you know, it's mind-numbing. There's so many numbers because they make a lot of really great stuff. Here's what you need to be most concerned about. The number at the end, the 6 or the 7 or the 10, that refers to how many kilograms of payload you can put on these, how many kilograms of weight you can put on here. Now, I happen to live in the United States. I'm sure that comes as a shock to most of you. We don't use that. We use pounds. So it's a very simple equation. You just take the kilograms, multiply it by 2.2, and you get the pounds. So a BV6 down here will hold about 14 pounds. An S7 will hold about 16 pounds. A BV10, what would that be? Times 2.2? Yeah, 22 pounds. So that's how you figure out how these things, uh, how much weight these things will hold. Now, the other, the other part of the nomenclature, and this is just good for you to know when you're trying to make a decision as to what you want, some of these say BV on them, and some of them will say S, or S, yeah. All the BV and the S tripods have stepped counterbalance controls, you know, to handle whatever weighted camera you're going to put on there to adjust that. But the S has variable pan and tilt drag controls. The other ones have stepped, you know, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. So if you like the stepped thing, then get yourself a BV. If you like the variable, then get an S. Have I thoroughly confused you now? I thought so. All right, let's look at, um, let's look at just a couple of these. And these are all configurable however you want. You can get 
this tripod on a pair of carbon fiber legs, or you can get it on the two-stage aluminum sticks. You can mix and match the stuff however you want to whatever you want, depending on the, how light you want it to be, or how if you like carbon fiber like this, or if you prefer these. You know, everybody likes something a little bit different, so you can do these however you want. All of these have some of the same features. You know, a light, almost all of these have a lighted ball level, which is a really high-end feature for these things. The carbon fiber, it's really high quality. They roll their own carbon fiber at the Benro factory, by the way. And that's some of how they can keep quality high and prices, you know, very, very reasonable. It's, it's pretty amazing. Also, these, this particular line has above ground spreaders. And I'm a big fan of above ground spreaders to hold the legs together. I don't like them when they're on the ground. And I really like these because they are adjustable. And you can bring these up and you can turn this knob on top and it will keep them in that position. So if you're in a small area and you, your tripod needs to have a, a small footprint, you know, on a, an event or a wedding or, hey, you can't put that over there, that's the fire lane. Well, you know, I can just tighten this up and adjust that and the legs will stay there. Um, also, these spreaders are removable. So if you want to get the legs spread way out and get it way down to the ground, uh, you can definitely do that. So it's a great combination. You've got a lot of variables here, 13 pounds to 22 pounds. And by the way, Benro was always coming up with new stuff. So if you've got heavier equipment than 22 pounds, keep an eye out because there is some stuff on the way, you know, as far as these tripods are concerned. Just keep an eye out for that. They also come with a really nice bag. And also, these have an interesting feature. You can get this accessory for it, which is a set of dolly wheels that you can put on any of these and some of the other tripods as well. So if you need to roll it around in a studio or you're wanting to do some moves on a smooth floor or something, you've got that and you can do that with it. I own a fair amount of equipment and over the years I've used a lot of high-end stuff. Sockler, Vinton, Cartoni, O'Connor, and those are all really good products. They're high-end. Um, I have some Enfrodo. I have, have a lot of gear. But when I first saw these bin rules, I was curious as to, you know, not just how they perform, but how they are price-wise. And this stuff, a lot of these things are two-thirds or one-half the price or one-quarter the price of some of those other products. And, you know, a lot of times we equate price to quality. Well, if it's inexpensive, it can't be very good. Well, I can tell you, I've been testing a lot of these. I've been testing all of these, and I'm very impressed, not just with the features, but how they perform. And because Benro has their own factory, they make all of their own stuff. I think I mentioned they roll their own carbon fiber. And because of the way they do distribution, they can sell stuff at a much, much better price point than we can buy just about anything else. So it's, it's worth checking out. I mean, it really is. All right, let's see how these tripods that will accommodate a heavier camera will perform. I have my F55 and a Fujinon Cabrio lens on here. This probably is 23 pounds, 24 pounds, and this tripod is rated for right exactly at that. So let's have a look. Now that's really where you know if you've got a decent tripod or not. If you can do a nice smooth pan and it's not jittering or stopping along the way and you can lock it off at the end, that to me is the acid test for this thing and this passes. So this is the S8 tripod. This is one of their heavier capacity ones. It holds eight kilograms, which is about 17, 18 pounds, which is way more than we need for the CX-3. But uh, it does it well. It's a lightweight tripod and uh, it's pretty smooth actually. We're with my buddy Jerry Hatton from Houston, Texas. How you doing, Jerry? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing, Jerry? Uh, it's good to have you. Jerry has been doing this uh, about as long as I have, which is way, way too long. And he works on a lot of the same shows that I have, uh, 48 Hours, 2020, PBS Frontline. He also works on 60 Minutes, which is the real, that's the big show because that's the most well-known magazine show in the world and very demanding. So 
whatever gear Jerry uses, it's probably gear that I should pay attention to as well. Now you've gotten to play with some of the uh, the Benro, the heavier duty tripods, or have you just seen them, or what's your experience with that so far? I've just actually I've just seen your video. Of them. I've played with a couple of the smaller ones. Uh, I've got like uh, three or four of those of uh, the lighter duty tripods. Um, more of the, I guess the heavier duty are more for the shoulder, the bigger shoulder cameras, uh, stuff that you and I kind of grew up using. But I've been real impressed with the lighter weight ones, so I'm really kind of anxious to, I'd like to try the bigger ones because that's just more of what more of my world experience, I guess, has been. But, you know, everybody's moving to smaller, lighter, all that. So it's been kind of interesting to play with the other ones too. Looking forward to it. Like you, Jerry, I've been a soccer guy for, you know, most of my career. I've had probably $20,000 plus worth of Sockler tripods. And I have my reasons for being impressed by these Benro tripods. What, what's what's impressed you about them? What have you liked? Well, I, I think I've, uh, I kind of came into it being real hesitant just because uh, I knew what the price of them was compared to what I pay for my Sockler. I have a couple of those. And I like a heavy duty tripod and something that's going to you know, work well, and, and I was a little bit, took me a little while to kind of get them out and play with them, but once I did, I was very impressed with, like, the build of them is good, the, the mechanics of them, the way that you can, uh, you know, tighten down the legs, which a lot of tripods I've played with that weren't soccer event and of a, of a good build quality, that's the first thing, it's just, you know, they'll, you unlatch a leg and it just sounds like an aluminum piece, like it's going to fall out. And these have a real nice, uh, I mean, they just sound good, the mechanics, they fit well. They just seem like they've been pieced together pretty well, um, and, th and they work. Did you see the uh, in the video how I was able to use that above-ground spreader and adjust the footprint real easily? Yeah, I did. And, in fact, I, I, I was on a shoot last night. I was shooting football uh, for a kind of a reality show and it's a series about football and they had me up in the lift and it's kind of small so I put a stand here and a flag and I brought my tripod in and it it was on a big my Sony F800 big camera long lens and so I really had to squeeze in there and after seeing your video I mean I saw her it's a nice tripod but it's got it's got set spots you can go chick 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 there's like five different places where you can kind of expand your tripod I needed it to be a footprint to be small and I was sort of limited, and I watched your, your video just a little bit ago, and it's like, oh, my gosh. You mean you can kind of adjust it where you need the feet to be and lock it into that? That's kind of nice. I like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I think there's some things that they have really seem to have thought out well that appeal to people that, like, if you've used a tripod three times, those are things you're going to want to be kind of concerned about. Everybody needs to go check them out for themselves, but definitely give them a look because they're uh, it's an impressive uh, system they have. I agree. So if you're not in one of those places where you can go and do hands-on, at least you can listen to me and Jerry and say, I don't know, maybe I should at least give them a look. Yep.